What is happening, y'all? Well, come on back. Thankfully, things are working. Can you guess what the culprit was? Ray tracing. It's always the ray tracing, man. I was even a little bit trepidatious about turning it on. I was like, ah, oh, you know, ray tracing and OBS don't get along well together. I'll give it a try, though. Turn it on. What does it do? Crashes my game over and over again. Oh, hey, 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 who are you? Whoa, calm down, buddy. Like a oh god, oh my god! I was gonna say it's like you're a baby or a tree man, but then he one shot me. That's probably that's why ray tracing was crashing. You got Mr. Particle effects over here. You know what? I messed up. I didn't pull out Mr. Jelly. That was the problem, obviously. Mr. Jelly, my trusted companion. I think I'm going far. No, no I'm not. I should be right there in a second. Are you butt slam still? Somber, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, putting you on. Oh, I can't have Mr. Jelly. You don't seem, it seems like your AI gets abused if I'm at max range, so. Like how he tried to dodge. Yeah, dodge into that rock. Oh, God damn, that was the... That was the cheat clapper right there. Damn, bro, what the fuck? All right, this guy's not gonna lie, I'm getting a little salty. Because this dude is like, oh yeah, I'm, you can beat me easy. And then he's like, just kidding, here's my mega ultra empowered sword of 
I kill you. I'm like what? Wait, what? I'm only gonna give him one more try though. If I don't beat him, saving him for later. Though I'm gonna try something that's risky and probably dumb, but also potentially good. <laughs> came so fast, dude. What's up, friend? I got someone that I'd like you to meet. Would you wanna you wanna drop down below here? Oh no, run faster! Come on, go. I'm gonna die. Where'd he go? I don't see him. Oh, he's right here. Oh my god. here bear come on I need to get this guy I need to lure this guy to where the bears at this is like that meme like what would happen if humans could use 100% of their brain You're not doing nearly as much damage as I was hoping you would here. Man, that's bullshit. Because the bear hit everything except the boss. Ah, sad. I mean, it was a good idea. It, it was. It was legitimately like, I feel like that was a brilliant idea. You know, let me lure the boss over to you. His swipes are going to smack the shit out of you, but I, I guess the boss is coded differently, so even though he can hurt him, he'll, he'll never look at him as an enemy. Which I feel like he should. I feel like, uh, you know. Uh, more, more games should have stuff like that, where it's like, oh, I learned, you know, like, I think Monster Hunter is one of the best examples, like... You know, if you're fighting Monster A and you lure it over to Monster B, shit's gonna go down. Yeah. 
bitch. Pathing is actually like quite impressive. Holy shit. Ugh. I was harder than the Erdtree Guardians. And he was only worth 2400 Enduring and prowess. Yeah, I'm be honest, that felt felt a little uh just just a tad tad bit imbalanced. I've never met a boss I couldn't overcome. Well that's not true. I actually never beat the final secret boss of Hollow Knight. That thing just sucked. I was like, nah, I'm done. I tried. You're too much. 15. Uh, I'm likely to break stances. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Attack skills, jump attacks, ranged attacks, crit attacks, guard attacks, mounted attacks. Um, skill attacks. Uh, damage received into HP. Opaline. Twiggy cracked is always useful. Um, let's do Twiggy Crack. That way if I have to, like, do a risky run, I can have that effect up to protect my bum. And we are going to go back and, and knock out those... Those catacombs, I think. Well, I don't know. What would I get for going to those catacombs? I'd get the the next tier of frenzy spells, I think. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. Now that now that we've resolved the crashing, fucking ray tracing. I've actually heard from uh, Lance that it's it's not done very well in this game, and if there's anybody I trust when it comes to the technical shit with FromSoft games, it's him. It's like one of the it's the same guy that like actually got a Bloodborne 60 FPS mod and just got it working. And Sony was like, oh, it's really hard to do. He's like, no, it's not. I've done it. It's working. He's like, always finding out info. He, like, he recently discovered uh, just more evidence that like a fully functional version of Bloodborne Old Hunters exists running on Windows. Apparently there was like a screenshot that popped up. And it was like a screenshot supplied by one of the devs of like an item in the game. But if you like look at the uh, the like info on the image, the like origin info shows that it was a screenshot that came from a, a like Win64 PC build of Bloodborne. And it's like, wait a minute here. This something doesn't add up. That's that's one of the weirdest things to me. I don't know why Sony keeps Bloodborne away. I, re I really don't. I really don't. Because, like, I mean, God, if they if they were to actually just go and release Bloodborne on PC, 
the, the, the mods, the runs, stuff like this. Literally stuff like this. You imagine how badass this would be? We could do, do uh, like Bloodborne Convergence. The mods people will come up with. Bloodborne button 4K, 60 FPS, smooth as butter. It'd be amazing. And on top of that, the thing that, that surprises me the most about it is like, dude, they would make so much money. Like, if, if Bloodborne was to drop on PC today and priced in at $70, Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are going to buy it. No question about it. But instead, not only is it still stuck on PlayStation, it's stuck on fucking PS4. I mean, yeah, you can play it on PS5, but it ain't like, you know, it doesn't get any, any changes. So it, it's honestly, to me, it's one of the, the, the great, oh God, that hurts so fucking bad. It's one of the great mysteries of Sony. Like all the games to like you know keep locked away the the way they keep bloodborne away from people it's so weird because sony has the rights to it just how they had the rights to demon souls so if they wanted to do a, a remake there's nothing stopping them from it Like, honestly, the only, only real plausible explanation, in my opinion, is that they are, they're working on a, a Bloodborne remaster. And that they want to release that on PS5 as well as PC. Because otherwise they just leave money on the table. I think I can just zippity do past all this bullshit. Wasn't this the same catacomb that was filled with just like immense amounts of bullshit in my mod run and I was on it? I was just, I think it was, and I just, cause I remember this ladder and being like, all right, well, I just have to leave. I can't do anything here. Go, Mr. Jelly. more games did environmental attacks like for example how he's breaking these pillars somewhere it's like oh yeah if you you know if you kite it around to where it breaks all the pillars the center of the room collapses on top of it
Watchdog's not annoying enough? Give him a frenzy explosion. Hey, demi-humans. Demi-humans are, are actually really, really solid summon. I mean, there's there's better ones, but like, for for an early summon, demi humans can clap some cheeks. Frenzy burst, mark of frenzy, inescapable frenzy, deranged fury. Let's take a look at these spells. Frenzied Burst. Charging increases range and potency. Yellow Flame of Frenzy slammed the ground. Large eruption of fire and leaves a large mark of the three fingers on the ground in front of you. That sounds really cool. I wanna, wanna put it on. Melee damage deal 10%, all absorption by 20%, and reduce stamina costs by 20%. However, continuous madness buildup lasts for one minute. It's neat. I'm gonna try the marker frenzy. That sounds really dope. And then let's go see if we can do any upgrades. It's also the PvP man. Wouldn't mind checking him out. Well, I took you from that man to lay out your arm. They at your arms then. Large and great somber, so we're set there still. Okay. Ship of War. Look at you, she's crazy. She has it. I saw her now. Their eye. Oh, is Roderica here already? I guess since I skipped straight to Liernia with the teleporter, she should be. Eh. Put a couple into demi human. I suppose I'll ask my so I'm trying to think if there's anything else pre demi human that would be worthwhile. I think that's that's gonna be a solid one. Give you one and a two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we'll work with those. Alright, where do we want to go? Over here, get a bunch of XP killing that stuff. Uh, we cleared that. That. Got the seeds. There's the dragon. Let's go through the ton. Well, I don't know. I'm already like max upgrade. Does it make sense to even hit up the Limgrave tunnels? I don't think it does. I feel like we're we're past that point already. Um, let's go there and see if I can get the talisman for stamina. I don't know if it's still gonna be there, but second talisman is always nice. I could teleport up to the beast land, but I don't feel like that's necessary anymore now that I can do Erd tree warping. Sacred Blade. Probably whoop this guy's ass. Good old those who live in death.
Turtle Talisman. Enchanted Remnant. That's interesting. Mark a frenzy! That's really cool. Damn. It's really cool, but the damage ain't gonna compare to this. Give me your runes, bitch. Skeletal Militiamen. Uh, do I want to go down here? Mm, yeah, why not? We're 30 minutes. I can probably just run through most of it. Okay, that is cool. Maybe I should stop touching the frenzy stuff and just do a frenzy playthrough on stream at some point. Cause like that's cool. I do like that. Let's put you back on, I guess. Uh, and then pump that up, baby. Two more levels, and that is set. Cause my black flame stuff. I mean, the closest being. Oh, what was it? Divine Tower, Kaelid, Volcano Manor. Gunskin Noble. I mean, the idea of going to the Divine Tower of Kaelid, it sounds like suicide. But... Maybe I can go there and find the loot without having to fight the boss? It absolutely juked, you buffoon. Going right between your legs. One day someone will add something in that spot. Green Turtle, slow HP restoration, one FP recovery per second. Erdtree's favor is always a safe bet. You could be good considering I'm in light ass armor. Um, what else? Memory slots, uh, faster casting. You know what? Charge spells. I am, I am chucking out charge spells. Godfrey Icon is the play, I think.
Bay more. That's what I like to see. Yeah, especially with the uh, demi humans. Oh, we're gonna literally beat the runes out of this man. Not gonna stand a chance. The main reason I'm coming up here is I'm curious what we get. Because, you know, he usually drops that legendary greatsword. But I have a feeling that the unique stuff like that has probably been replaced in some capacity. And so I really want to find out what was it replaced with. Get out of the sky. if I want that on. I think I'm not really getting involved in enough melee to justify using that. Let me... Let me seven. Mm. Let's do that. That way if we have to get in melee range, we have the our equivalent of combustion. Lure pot. I'm assuming they lure beasts. Right. Time for a boss. Nope, he's still there. Okay. Ah, holy shit.
I really like how the the summon just takes off of your FP and it, it just it pulls from all your stats, you know, so it just makes you generally weaker because you're counting on the summons. God, I don't know how I'm not dead. I'm sitting here trying to get the cat off my legs. So usually I, I feed the cats at night before bed and they keep getting to where they want to eat earlier and earlier and earlier, so like... Ugh. Yeah, they definitely increased his poise. Probably dead. Oh, shit. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna just wanna hit unlock the office. Dude, it's ridiculous. It was like for a while they wanted to eat at like two in the morning, which is absurd. I'm not like, no. Well, no, let me rewind. So it used to be they'd wake you up at like five in the morning. And then I had a couple of late nights where I'd feed them at like three. And then it was two. And now, I mean, the, you, you get the idea. The cycle has progressed to where now they want food at like 9 p.m. Which is nicer than 2 a.m., but I'm still like, dude, like, stop. I'm not feeding you right this second. Like, I love my cats, but man, dude, cats are the- oh my god. Cats are like the most demanding fucking animals on the planet. If you don't feed them when they want to be fed. I guess he got tired of being put in a corner. Oh, shit. Oh, that would have sucked. Damn. I had- I was bullying him for a second there, he was stuck. I was like, he ain't going nowhere. And they're deceptive too, because cats go meow, 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 and they start like... Gonna scratch at you a little bit, try to scratch at the chair. Keep pawing at you, and it's like, stop, not this second. And then when you- you were like, shoot, go away, like, not right now. They're like, yeah, you get all angry. Fuck. Get juked. Oh god. Oh god. Wow. Okay, actually seeing how much damage I'm doing to him...
Got him. Ooh, man. So you still give the grafted blade. You give a nice little chunk of runes. Let's see if that's been changed at all. Still 40. Still with Vengeance. Okay, so nothing there. What is that? I don't remember that. That's new. Where are you taking me? There's nothing out southeast. Oh. Uh. I don't belong here. 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 It's time to get to this case. Oh, man. On this episode of Risky Teleporters. Whew. But just out of curiosity, I mean, how much damage would I deal to you? Oh, no, yep, we're leaving. We're done. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, it's nice to have this. Though, seeing that, I feel like Caleb probably hasn't been reworked. I wonder if there's like a, um, a, uh, like a change log. Basically, find out, like, you know, how zones have been rebalanced, stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig through. There might be... So I was reading through the, the fact that they have on the Discord, and that had... Stuff like, where do I find X weapon? Where do I find... Had like a list of like, you know, class unique weapons you could out find in the game. Uh, class upgrades, stuff like that. Which, that's cool, you know, I get it. People want to experience the new content. Um, I didn't see anything about, like, reworking, like, where, where you know, how zones were rebalanced and whatnot. But yeah, just to read some of that real fast. I guess I can bring y'all up to speed. So, uh, let's see. How do I integrate it? You can do it with seamless co-op. I know about save files. Staves, seals. So, like, Celebrant Sickle. Divine Tower of Kaled, and then there is a Tier 2 Catalyst, which the God Slayer one is uh, Windmill Village, which is, you know, kind of probably what you would expect. So, yeah, the areas that had strong ties to God Slayer in the base game, being here, and then uh, Dominula up here, those are where I'm going to find some major upgrades. And then, obviously... The dude over in Volcano Manor, him being a boss. But let's try and get a couple rounds in against Morgoth. Definitely the right choice to kill the other guy first. Your health seems a lot higher. I don't know what your damage is like yet. I don't know if I want to find out, to be honest. I'm just going to do as much as I can to him because he's fucking up my demi humans fast. Oh! Damn, he hurts. Dead. I'm gonna have to. Well, let me. Uh, this actually gives me a good chance. I want to see what I'm hitting for Black Flame Burst with. Him 
about 200. I don't know if that's going to be worth running. Yeah, single poke is doing 344. Black flame burst. Not worth. Not think he would go into that one. Ah, shit. So I think I'm not a hundred percent, but I think summons may scale the boss to a multiplayer level. I've fought this dude hundreds of times, and I don't think I've ever seen that tail whip. No, they don't. I think the first round was just me playing a little sloppy. Who loves hearing himself talk. Uh, what is this? Increase all physical damage, all magic, all fire, all lightning, all holy. I mean, that's kind of obvious for me. All holy. 
um, other stuff that I could do. Um, the the cut in half thing. Uh, get the. Let's get just the straight ten faith. And is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Dope. So 5% more damage. We're getting fat damage on charge. Uh, whenever we get to better godskin stuff, we're going to be rocking the great Char's arsenal. I hope it's not like the fatty outfit. I hope we have like some actual cool outfits. Mm. So, two, three, five. It's 15 health. And then... 14 health, so it's coming down. Um, let's get these up. Let's get Int and Faith up to 15. No, ah, damn, I don't know. Am I mind up more? I'll just keep bringing my health up. No, I think we can, I think we can focus on getting our stats up a little bit from here. I think we're in good shape. Decided I don't want you on. I want to put this on and see what kind of madness buildup we're talking. Is it enough that it'll proc madness? If not, this would be... Because I still have Blessing of Grace up, so if I can put both of those on and then jump into the fray, that would be really good. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. to go back and count the time on that. Oh, no, never mind. It's still going. So how much madness would I need? I mean, one madness proc, it doesn't bottom out your FP like it used to. R and a half. So I would need a lot to, to make it so that that doesn't proc off. But still, I mean, 10% damage. Absorption by 20%. I wonder if it works with my status, though. So I deal 326. Okay, now I'm not dealing any. Okay, so I don't think... I don't think it works off of holy damage, but we can go... Um, and test on a basic enemy up ahead. Or back, actually. We're gonna, we're gonna save Stormvale Castle for... Our next episode, because Stormbell is easily a, uh, a whole episode on its own. Two fifty-two. Two fifty-two. Okay. I don't want to go up to the Yarny and get a dude. The, um, kind of cool just sitting there <laughs> with the fire eyes. The, uh, the raider. The raider summons really dope. Two twenty nine. Okay, so I do I do get that ten percent boost, even though it's not showing on the damage sheet. Um, hmm, that's a hard one. Cause I mean, more damage, more absorption, cheaper attacks. But I'd have to play around knowing that madness is gonna proc, or doing something to offset the proc of it. 
can put that back on for now just because that was fun to mess around with. And since we're, I mean, I'm going to wrap this episode up in like a second because we're almost at the hour mark, but I want to do a quick, quick little frenzy test. I'm going to see which of these is clapping the cheeks. Actually, even better than that, I don't remember this guy being out here, but one single giant that's right next to the grace is actually very, very useful for testing purposes. You are my new test dummy, friend. So about 1840 off of that flame. Excellent stagger capability. I'm going to use that one spell, I think. Because I like the idea of me priming it, throwing it. And then just using that as the stagger buildup. Because it took a while to get the stagger off on Margit. I was surprised we even got one, to be honest. So something that's going to do stagger buildup. And the other thing I like a lot about this is it's a set and forget. I throw it down and that's it. Let's see what a, a, um, a fast cast will do on it. If I can just like frenzy, boom, and hit the ground. This game's going to get me playing a second character before I'm even done this run. difference between regular and charged on that is immense. Regular just tickles. Charged was like, oh yeah, you're staggered. And we're doing like triple the damage. So with what we know, you stay on. Um, just want to rearrange some stuff here. So you're good, you're good. You. Then... Blessing of grace. Oh, do I go back to you? I mean, you are... Mm, let me do a little bit of damage testing with that guy. I want to see charged versus uncharged on Burrowing Black Flame. If I really wanted to be cheeky, I could go take an Erdtree teleporter up to uh, Domina and get the, get the next tier talisman. Let's see, a burrowing black flame. So at our current level, you're going to tick and you're going to eventually blow up for, I think he walked out of the explosion. So it was a 154 total. I mean, the, the damage on this just doesn't really seem that good. Yeah, he's, he's not getting hit by the explosion at all. It's cool conceptually, but I think the explosion on it needs to be higher for it to be more viable. So for now, we'll take that off, and these are going to be the four that we run with. I could put on uh, the Black Flame weapon, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it's really needed. Anyway, uh, let's wrap up here. We are ready to go do Stormvale. I think we'll push our way through that. Our level's looking good. We're around 30. That's that's a pretty... 30 is a good, like, you're definitely ready to tackle Stormvale. And, uh, yeah. We'll tackle that, and then we'll work our way... I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Caleb instead of Lyernia. Who knows? Oh, first, I'm going to find out about Changelog. But either way, we'll wrap things up, and I'll catch you all a bit later.